Hi, this is Dominic Trapassi, product manager at Legrand. We're here at Cisco Live, where we're showcasing our simplified edge solution, which is our new vertical wall mount cabinet, which is low profile, but yet can hold large pieces of equipment. So we can put a Cisco 3850 in here, which is 24 inches tall, and only stand 12 inches away from the wall. This is perfect for that edge computing type of application, POE and IoT devices to uh, power those devices. Um, here we're showing this with a clear glass door, but it actually has a secure steel door. And we're uh, outfitted this one with a Raritan uh, intelligent PDU that has a uh, security lock on it, that has a key lock, but also has a card swipe. So you can gain access into the, into the cabinet to do ads and drops or do any maintenance, but those are all recorded. So any entrance into the cabinet itself will be recorded back to a, um, to a device that will uh, maintain those. I'll leave that open so we can get back in later. There's also a top door in the, here for uh, IT access. So if you need to do any maintenance in the box, you can get in through the top here. But that also has a lock that is not part of the card swipe. So when you close that, there's no access into that door with the card swipe. We have this particular unit is outfitted with uh, dual fans. So these fans are set to evacuate the hot air out of this box. The Cisco switch cools from the way it's oriented right now, cools from the top to the bottom. So those fans pull that hot air out instead of having it recirculate back up. Right here we have the four RU rails which come standard with the uh, cabinet. And then we've also installed an additional set of optional fixed rails here where we're mounting our Raritan PDU. We have a set of rotating, pivoting uh, rails up at the top here, which is another accessory, which is perfect for um, patch panels and patch cords. As you can see with that, <coughs> rotated down 45 degrees, those cables almost want to go in the direction that you're, where you're putting them in. And we have uh, cable management rings on the side, so we can dress those cables off to the side. The rack itself is adjustable all the way to the right, the way it is now, or it can be center mounted, or it can be mounted all the way to the left. It depends on how you want to route your cables. <clears throat> there's openings in the back, so there's an opening at the top, and then an opening behind the switch, so your cables, your network cables will go out through the back of the box and into the wall. There's also, if you come around to the side here, there's also conduit openings on the side, so if you wanted to bring your cables in through conduit, you can do that. There's conduit openings at the top and at the bottom, and those are just a simple knockout, so if you hit that with a, a hammer or a screwdriver, you can knock that out. We also have cable passageways on the side here, and there's duplicates of that at the top and the bottom. So this box is also um, outfitted with the Raritan uh, door control sensor that allows you to um, report back on the, on the door lock. Also within this chassis are temperature sensors, which you can't actually see, but there's temperature sensors and humidity sensors in here which report back to the Raritan PDU as well. Coming across to this side, the front door is uh, hinged on this side for uh, access. The door is available with an accessory that we call a lever lock accessory which allows you to mount non-rack mountable equipment into the box. That is attaches with two brackets in the front and that can hold up to 30 pounds. The chassis itself is UL certified for 2416 for 150 pounds at the rail. So it's certified for 150 pounds at the rail which means it was tested with 600 pounds at the rail.